In Plata State, a 200-level computer science student of the Plata State University is confirmed to be among those killed Thursday night when suspected bandits invaded some communities in the Bocas local government area of the state. Some students of the university, angered by the killing of their colleagues, took to the streets in protest, calling for the withdrawal of the military task force protecting the community. They took the action to the military checkpoint where it was alleged that stray bullets hit two of the protesters. The Commissioner for Information and Communication, Plateau State, Musa Ashams, confirmed the development to journalists. In Bukos local government, there is a community very close to the Plateau State University, which is called Chikam, where a pregnant woman was killed and a five-year-old baby was also killed alongside a 200-level computer science student of the Plateau State University. So in the morning, students um, carried the corpse and went around the school in protest. So that um, harvested a lot of emotions. And at the end of the day, there was a lot of protest in that community. And um, it got to a point that um, two students were shot. But we thank God that the situation has been controlled they were saying they do not want the military in that community. Then, um, lo and behold, assailants trooped in with their guns and they were shooting sporadically where people had to run for their dear lives. And for more on this incident, I'm joined by Executive Director Wise Def Obadiah Afwangs on the News at 7. Mr. Afwangs, talk to us about what more you're learning about this uh, latest attack. Uh, well, first of all, let me use this opportunity to condole the people and government of Plato State over these violent attacks that has claimed many lives, and especially in Bokos, Mongo, and uh, parts of Plato State. Uh, this is one attack too many. Uh, Plato State has been in the news for the very wrong reasons, especially with regards to violent attacks. Uh, right from uh, 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 December 2023, the eve of Christmas, that is the most recent one, where people were preparing to, you know, uh, participate in the holy program of the Christmas, and suddenly there was an attack on the people. And right from that 23rd of December till today, it has been one form of attack or the other, virtually there is no one week that you do not hear people have been killed as a result of this violent attack, especially in Bokos local government and Mongo local government. So it's quite unfortunate. What happened yesterday uh, where a student was killed that provoked today's anger is not also uh, a new thing. It's, it's just a continuous attack. Like I said, right from the 23rd of December 2023 to date, it has been continuous attack on the people, and especially in Bokos and in Mongo local So, Mr. Afon, so, we, we, yes. we saw the students in the protest calling for the withdrawal of the military task force protecting the community. It's not the first time we're hearing the civilian population having issues with um, the military personnel. What do you think is happening? Yes, uh, I think this is a clear case of civil-military relationship challenge. Uh, 